What's up, everybody? It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. I got the legend back in the building. How you doing, legend? You know, I'm great, blessed, and highly favored by the gods. You know oh. what I'm saying? Most How definitely. You I'm good, legend. I'm glad you came through, man. I appreciate you coming back to True Teller TV, bro. It's, it's always a, a pleasure to be here. It's uh -huh. a blessing to come on your platform, brother. I appreciate that, bro. I've been seeing you viral on every platform. It seems like shout everybody. Shout out to my marketing team. Uh -huh. shout, out to my, <laughs> shout out to them. Shout out to J Pay Beats, man. Uh -huh. shout, out to, shout out to my manager. Shout out to my whole marketing publisher team. They they doing their thing, so. Most definitely. I see you on every platform. It seems like everybody want a piece of butter right now at the moment. It's just well, like yeah. that. You yeah. know, they only put, they, they, they really only, only promote my negative shit. Right. So like, I've, been push, I've been pushing a lot of the peace. You know what I'm saying? I've been pu pushing peace for the youth, right. for the younger generation on both. You know, that's why I did this shit with DJ Youth and the, and the shorty. So right. I definitely be noticing how, you know, every platform big platforms not at this point you know what i'm saying right. i'm a, i'm getting talked about on the same platform as boosie and etc et cetera, et cetera. so it's like they only promote the negative shit that i i do right you know so you be seeing the no jumpers and the blasts sure. and the say cheeses yeah. and shit bringing you up and stuff most definitely i'll totally get you on that you know we done did plenty of interviews we didn't talk about where you're from, all kind of stuff. I kind of want to jump right into it if Let's I can. Let's get into it, man. The fans know I got this piece of paper. I kind of want to start. The internet. The fans got the pe No, you got that paper. <laughs> well, read that shit up to me then. Because uh, sometimes Mary be talking to me too. And y'all can't be talking at the same time. You know, you know the internet fun. alleged that it caught you with like some fake money in the interview, butter. You know, you kind of spoke out saying that that was kind of like a strategy and shit like that. Matt, look, listen, the strategy was the strategy, but on the, the main point is, you know what I'm saying? I took that shit from 16 in what house, you feel me? Because when I got the, we we already had what we had planned, but then when the camera started rolling, he pulled that 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 hully ass stunt. Oh, that rat, I don't, I don't even play like that. Because right. see, I'm the screen nigga, so I had, I had bad intentions of doing some crazy shit to him. So instead of doing that, I just took the little fake money, trolled him. He know what's going on. Even Billy knew what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Because Billy Knox, right? Or Billy Cox. <laughs> the video man. The I know, man. Say, let me stop playing, though. Because y'all know that. You, you know I robbed him. He a fucking white boy. Now let me stop playing. Hey, no, though. But y'all know Billy had comments was like, so is that where all the, the money from the warehouse went? Right. If I robbed him for real or took something from him for real, gang, ain't no time for a party. Put 12 on, on first grade, but... I just did something. I'm trolling. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can troll you back. I'm trolling. I'm, I'm, I'm at your neck. You feel me? And on top of that, the motherfuckers who I got behind the scene, like, the, you know what I'm saying? My marketing team, they be like, hey, look, you do this, do that. Yeah, yeah granted, sometimes be a bad look, but then on two grade, y'all pay attention to the negative shit. That's why I make sure right. when I'm doing something that's going to make y'all want to share and look, I'm pushing the right people. The right talk, gang. Because that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm chasing, short. I'm chasing this shit. I'm chasing. I'm chasing it. I ain't going to lie. I definitely be chasing it. Bro, <laughs> bro, bro. I'm chasing it. But I ain't chasing it while I'm in everybody else's business. Or I'm right. putting another nigga in the mix. Or I'm in another nigga mix. I chase it in my own way. I put myself out there to chase it off myself. Um, so if my fuck can't talk down on me if I'm chasing it off myself. Oh, bro. It's people that I don't even know who get paid from YouTube, bro. It's all type of shit, right? Off right. my name. Right. You see what I'm saying? So why I ain't doing it? Why am I why am I strategizing to make it shit sound no, right? You. Make it look right. Oh bro, I gotta take it. My fuck gotta think about it. I ain't on no child support I'm took. I ain't got no money. I'm fucked yeah. up. Shit. Yeah. I'm broke as hell. I just got a child support that in the middle of the day. Uh -huh. That bitch just arrived, shorty. I'm fucked up, but I ain't got no money to pay nobody. That's why I got prop money. I ain't taking nothing for 16. I lied. I'm going to try support. You know, I did see something between you and 16. That, is that real, though? Or was that internet like influence? That no, was, that see, look. Real? I really thought 16 really did. I really did thought he did that hully shit. You see what I'm saying? So I, 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 I addressed the situation. I addressed it, but I should have just went to him direct. But I never talked to 16 direct in the first place when I did the interview with him. Oh. I always went through a third party. A lot of people I don't even really be talking to, gang. So it'd be a lot of shit going on in this media that we that we that we surround them all that 
motherfucker really think that I be heavy into this shit game. And, and in real life, I don't be in this shit game. I be somewhere getting high with my <laughs> homies, fuck. Right. Cooling with my brothers, fuck. My homies just living life, enjoying this shit, because now I'm able to enjoy this shit. And at first, I wasn't able to enjoy this shit. I wasn't really getting no money. Right. None of that shit. I was just with the niggas with the money. I was with the niggas with the motion. I was with the niggas who had the attention. Uh. So now, I was took, I've been seeing some paper. I've been seeing some real little paper. You know what I'm saying? And I offer it. Flashes my money. <laughs> oh, folks, great. Because my YouTube pay me well. So uh. Very swell. Oh, um, bro, I ain't gonna front the move. Let's say I come outside like 50 racks on me, 30 racks on me. But on, on two grand, I be having more than $100. Yeah. I just got some of this from, from, from doing this. But this ain't this money. Oh, um, folks, you ready? This is just, this we finna go get high with this shit. Right. We finna go have fun with this shit. Hold on, wait. I ain't got no money. First, that's, these are dollars. These are dollar bills. I'm on child support. I can't afford nothing. Nothing at all. I have no money. These are dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? I have dollars, y'all. You know, another thing I want to ask you, though, brother. You know, you kind of went viral. I'm not going to lie. The internet went crazy. I cut on YouTube. This shit was on every page. It looked like you put your knuckles on somebody, uh, brother. You know, video kind of was released. I'm, like, I'm nice with these bitches. But see, what what everybody don't know about, right? Everybody, oh, yeah, he jumped out on the opera. Right, right, right. All right, to y'all. To a lot of people, he'd be a op. He, the person who asked I kicked in that video, uh, technically it'd be an op to a certain, to a lot of my homies and shit like that, and people I surround myself around. But he an older guy. Okay. You feel him? He like he like then at forty. I can't so, really see through. Nah, that I'm video. lying. I ain't gonna say then at forty or two. He is. We like forty. She old as hell, gang. That was my step daddy who I was pouncing on. Okay. On Tuga. <laughs> Cause everybody say saying this an opera. No, for those, that was my stepdaddy, G. I had to kick my stepdaddy ass, bro. Don't play with my mama, bro. I love my mama, bro. Don't play with my mama, bro. You feel? I love him too. I knew that nigga thirteen years. Right. Well, but I've been over thirteen years now. I'm tweaking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. It ain't it. But I'm tweaking. This man been in my life since my my daddy died in two thousand and four. Right. You know. This man been in my life since like 2005. This is my baby sister, Daddy Gang. You feel me? But he be drunk and shit now. He used to be a nigga get a lot of little money and shit, but now he be drunk and shit tweaking. You feel me? And he tweaked on OG on some drunk shit, and I had to show him. Because if motherfuckers was really listening to what I said in the video, because my big, my older brother was right there too. Okay. My old, my mama oldest son was right there. He was the one like, man, get in the fucking car, they go to police. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard that. And they all for 51st. That's what and a lot of people don't know this, though. You see what I'm saying? Everybody, they, my, my people, they, Newtown, my people, them, not where I'm from, gang. You feel me? Right. But, but it was like, all right, my big brother, that, my, that's why my girl like, man, get the fuck in the car, man. You tweak it. But then when he got to hear what was going on, he like, what the fuck you hear? You hear, you hear my OG? That's what it was about. And on the end, I still love that man. Uh, that man just came over. He came over my crib and shit. I got him as drunk as hell. Right. Gave him a couple dollars. Because that's, you know, he, he you know. That's, so still my, that's, that, right. that's still my that's still my little sister, Daddy, gang. I just had to kick his ass, gang. And uh, oh, it took her. You know, I kick any one of y'all ass, bro. You motherfucker really got to think about it, bro. It was a fight because that was my step, Daddy. But we can definitely bump who want to fight. Oh, two, we can put the bread up. I know y'all saw me with the funny money. Oh, folks, it's great. I can pay you in the butter bucks. But no, one, two, the dollar. <laughs> no, for real, though, we can get it on, though. Like, motherfuckers be doing a lot of, we, all of us do a lot of internet cap. Like, I ain't gonna say folks' name, because folks told me to stop saying his name. So I just want to say this, and then you can move on to your next question. Okay. My homie told me, he was like, man, stop saying, you, you be saying a lot of folks in them names that motherfuckers don't know, motherfuckers ask me. How did I get some internet? Motherfucker like that, that ain't you, butter. Even when Kyra was alive, you went on the internet. How did you get some internet? And I, I felt my homie when he said that to me. I, 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 I honestly, I really felt him. Oh, to it. And I got internet because this shit paid me. But fuck that. <laughs> I, 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 I
Now nah, you know where why you could. Nah, I'm just, I'm, nah the, I, that was the main thing though. That was the main thing though. I really wanted to say like, folks really was just like, damn bitch, how you get so in there? That's what I really wanted to point out. And mm -hmm. my homie had called me like, how you get so in there? No, I think it's dope, though, because there's a lot of people on the internet telling your story and telling stories, and they wasn't there. So I think you get an opportunity to tell your own story. I think that's pretty dope. Uh, I got another question I want to ask you that's kind of tough now, butter. Now, you know, this is the question that I didn't know if I was going to ask, but I'm going to ask you this. And I'm going to ask you this question without being policey, but I am going to ask you this question. Um, you know... You told a story on DJU about being shot a little while ago, yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. And, uh, you talk about, I think, Skinny and other people, too, who was yeah. around at that moment. Yeah. You know, the fans went back. You know, I'm, I'm real strong on Reddick and Cyracology mm -hmm. and all kind of shit. The fans went back to that time when you got shot and went up, dug up old tweets of people saying, get well to you and shit. Right. They said that that was in 2011 or something 11? like that. I'm not That's sure when I got shot right in the fourth. Time. It might have been. Yeah, it has to be in 11 because 2 2 died in 11, 2011. November 11, 2011. It was 11 11 2 2 died. I ain't got shot October 31st, 2011, maybe. Okay. Now, the reason I ask you that is because recently some paperwork about Lil Durk went viral that says Lil Durk and Lil Reese uh, was arrested and charged, but they was let go of a shooting that happened when a I long shit time shorty. ago, right? Man, it wasn't I The shit. fans were saying, Man, you know, ever since Lil Reese went, went on DJU and said he shot people that was on DJU interview. Man, right? his ass cap on, that ain't one of us. Okay, I did Might that. have been one of his homies, you know, they like to shoot each other and shit on first grade. Might have been one of his homies. It wasn't us, gang. Oh, bro. Right. The lamb ain't never did nothing to us. We started it with them. Cause they want this dick ride shorty up. Right. These facts. I wanted to ask that cause I showed okay. seen that. I said, wow, that looks a little copish, you know, but I said I was hey, gonna hell, ask. Dog, man, tell the fans to stop digging this police ass <laughs> shit up, man. Oh, bro, shorty, you on some real shit, shorty. No funny shit. The nigga who shot me that day, no police shit. What you say? You ain't trying to be too policey. But man, make sure he rest in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Karma is a bitch, man. I didn't do anything to him right. for the record. You know what I'm saying? It just when you do harm to other, yeah, it falls back on you. It's a repeat cycle. This shit like a whole, whole right. karma. All this shit. We do shit happen. It's bad, but it's like, gang, how you better yourself? Cause I've been trying to better myself, gang. I've been working on myself for fucking life. Fuck right. life. You you listen to six three bars. Yeah, uh, plain. That shit almost said like YouTube, a quarter, ain't it? Been watching you too, though. You, mm. you be on this bitch tweaking. <laughs> GD. <laughs> you be love for love. I had, can I ask you some questions? Yeah, most definitely. Let's this is about to ask the truth. Uh. Why J Man ain't get on your taco like that about love bubs? You know, I didn't know if he was playing. I thought he was playing. I wasn't sure if he was serious or not, you know? Now, you know, them T Dubs don't be talking about certain shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Right. You know, I, I, I like Bubba. <laughs> I like Bubba a lot. What? Because he, he actually a cold ass rapper. Okay, little Bubba, so you be checking his music out? Of course. You don't be seeing I be posting this shit all on my channels, all in my story. I fuck with, I, I fuck with all our rappers. All our, like Lil Jaro. You know, like Bubba, when they talk about you, FBG, you is being Jaro and stuff like that. It is the same thing, it right? It is. Okay. To me. Okay. <laughs> It's the same thing, man. We all from the room. same block, man. Same you know thing, saying? too. Same thing. And when it comes to well, my FBG name, I ain't never changed my name. Okay. Have you ever seen anything in front of Butter besides FBG? No, FBG Butter. All right. You know what I'm saying? But ain't FBG like St. Lawrence? FBG, FBG was our rappers game. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got STU, you got UBT, you got Gyro, you got that game. Right. But you got FBG. FBG is our rappers. I always knew I was gonna be a rapper game. Oh, too good. That's why I always had this rap FBG shit in front of my name. Ugh. Even when I was ass and trash, gang. Yeah, you, I knew I was gonna be a motherfucking rapper, bitch. I knew I was gonna make the radio. You said you Another thing I wanna ask you, what was your opinions when you seen Trap Lord drop that documentary about King Von being a serial killer? Man, you know, 
Blame it on the dead. I said it. I, bl I said it again. I've been preaching this shit to you young niggas for a long time, man. You little young bastards, man. Motherfuckers is serving a lot of time right now for some a dead person did. You know what I'm saying? It's it's only right. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand. I I see I see the motive though behind. A lot of people don't see the motive. Truth. I see the motive. Truth. The motive fears. Close to, it's a lot of codes. It's a lot of cold cases, gang. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's time for them to be closed. Oh, go on, close these. Go on, close these cold cases, man. We blame it on Vaughn. We blame it on Kyra. We blame it on whoever did. Because right. they did. Close the cases. Case closed. <laughs> no one really to investigate nobody else. Y'all for the person y'all need to investigate was dead. So whoever the guy is. Big ups to him, man. Right. On gang. Even though his ass the police. He 12 for sure. How uh, you think so? All right, man. Come on, gang. Documentary was strong, wasn't it? Come on, bro. That's, I got pulled in the police task force. Come on, bro. She, motherfucker, it's just, man. But blame it on dead gang. Freedom real niggas. You know, in that Freedom documentary, gang. You know, in the documentaries I watch about stuff like that, your name get brought up a lot, though, buddy. They say you nah, real aggressive. Nah, they don't bring my name up, gang. You know, you know some, what? And some they don't of bring them. my motherfucking name up. And some of them, buddy. Them motherfuckers, you know what they do? They show my pictures and let my presence be known. Okay. But them bitches don't say my name. But you motherfuckers know I'm always the... I'm be, yeah, I'm always gonna be here. When I go on Reddit, buddy, it tells stories that you getting into fights with, like, Keith. Vaughn, like some of the elite members that we hear on the internet. I fight with everybody. I, uh, you mm -hmm. know, that was my thing back in the days, Jack. You know what I'm saying? I pull up on your ass and kick your ass and go on my happy ass back home and talk to my homie you number know, about we down breaking about how I spanked that ass. A lot of the often got that ass whooped by me on tour. Random niggas on um, bro. That's why a lot of niggas jump on the ops dick. I understand. Like, I so you know, we used to go up to Dunbar and bully them, just okay. bully Dunbar, That's right? That's the high school, right? Yeah, 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 man. We used to go up there and kick the air. Kick. You from what? He ain't from 63rd. Kick his ass. <laughs> right. So, you know, a lot of people don't like us because of the shit we used to do. Because we was kids, gang. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they dick ride the ops, and then a lot of people dick ride the ops. Because they think that, oh man, if I this shorty you know, and we get in, we just like getting into a dude you know, we can get in with dude with them. But gang, everybody got their own lanes, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Don't assert your shit and stuff. Don't assert yourself with something that don't that don't want to fall Right. No, we grown you. man, bro. I shit, I've been a grown man since I was twelve. Motherfucker, I asked my motherfucking mother. <laughs> been grown since I was twelve years old, shorty. Even though I used to get chased off the block by my mom, but still. Grown as hell on the block on first grade, so it's like, gee, we grown man, we've been in this shit so long, gang. On first grade, you pick your side, you stay there. But shorty, I ain't picking no niggas on no side, shorty. I ain't getting into y'all war. Your ops ain't looking for me, right. and I ain't looking for your motherfucking ops, nigga. I got too many ops anyway, and I got too many dick riders who dick ride my ops, man. and that's sometimes you niggas just need to stop this shit, too. Nah, I hear you on that. Uh, you know, I kind of want to change the pace and ask you this right here, but you know, I, this is another strong question, but recently, you know, the news kind of went viral, even as Chicago Sun-Times posting about this, it says that the FBI has arrested another suspect in FBG duck case by the name of THF Teasy. First thoughts that came to your head when you heard that news, buddy? It was, fu it, you know, it was a fucked up thought. Because, let me tell you why I was a fucked up thought alone, and then I'm going to leave the subject alone. Because, why I was so fucked up? Because his mama and Doug mama like this. And, you know what I'm saying? His mama was just around us not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you, everybody in our scrap type. Everybody in our scrap right. Right. You see what I'm saying? This some shit, you, hey gang, you know your mama be with dude mama, right? So you dropped the low, allegedly. I ain't seen you drop the low because he, he ain't dropped the low if you ask me. I don't know. So I was in jail. I was in Mount Sterling. Right. <laughs> you know, bro. So Mount Sterling serving my parole time, Jack. So I don't know. Now, I'm serious, I'm not, on some real shit, though, like, gang, yo mama, his mama like this, brother. So 
for you to do that, it's like you basically said, fuck your mama. And this is why I say he say fuck his mama, because what if one of Duck cousins or Duck brothers said, fuck this bitch, and pushed her shit back? One of his cousins, one of his, one of his, one of his, because technically his hood brothers, we his family too, gang. With I'm, I'm his family, because I got kids. But I'm saying outside, my kids, fuck that, right? This my hood hump, this my hood brother, fuck. So you gotta think about how many more of us it is, right? And a lot of us ain't strapped right. And mentally, physically, emotionally. So what if somebody in the front line, your mama stupid ass? Cause they can't get you. You a dumb fuck. Cause your mama in the mix. Your mama that with his mama. Mm. But we don't move like that. We real jokes. Anybody who ever ran across my 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 side. My, my, my side are real gentlemen, gang. When it come to women, kids, elderly, we real, we gentlemen, gang. I get you. Oh, bro. Uh, we, don't, we don't disrespect nobody till you disrespect us. We always come off peacefully. If you ran across a motherfucker with an FBG, a STL, a Hollyway, a Jaro, or any of that T-Dub in in front of their name, gang, grab it. We are aggressive people. At nature, right? Right. But a motherfucker can't never say that we don't come off cool as hell until Facts. you do some funny weird shit. You do some weird shit, now I gotta act like it. I've been acting. I'm weird too. <laughs> right. <So. laughs> oh, bro, you see? You know, I get you, old man. You know, another thing I wanna ask you, I don't know if I'm crossing the line by asking you this, but I had cash in this chair. You know, I asked him about Lil Dirk, and he told me Dirk not from his neighborhood. He's he kind of far away. He don't really know what his issue is with, like, y'all neighborhood. You I know, explained that, too. I say the same. I've been saying the same thing since 2019, since I came home, man. You know what I'm saying? The niggas that we in the tool, they can't. We just block away from them. When it was go time, bitch, we went to the corner to see if they was outside. Mm. You see, they did the same thing to us. You see what I'm saying? Walk mm. to the corner. See if they out there. You know what I'm saying? They that shit passed motherfucking state, gang. We ain't had cars back then. We damn sure weren't riding no bikes. You ain't gonna OD me on GD. Fuck is you? I definitely ain't getting little steamed in no alley that I don't know where I'm at. Um, gang, now let me stop doing that on your channel because you like you fuck with shorty them with they little bitch ass on um, GD. Um, nah, let me <laughs> I don't even play with dead people. Nah, no, though, seriously, though, gang. We ain't into them. Them niggas was too far fucking away, gang. Right. We ain't had no cars. We was fucking 15, 16, 13. And fucking, we was kids. We ain't, we was still in the cars. But we, we ain't had no cars, gang. And we weren't traveling to no neighborhood we ain't know. Bitch, I want to hit the game where he's hit the cuts. I lie, I'm better on feet. I'm ja -ja. I get you on that. And the reason I ask you about Dirk is, you know, uh, he got these things called wrap snacks. He got these potato chips. Have you ever tried the dirt wrap snacks before? Or you don't eat them. Have you ever tried them? Hold on, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to get your opinion on them. I actually got a bag of them. You, you had that shit? Yeah, I, I, I tried them before. <laughs> I want to. I want to know is it okay to try a bag or you know that you don't want to try them? Okay, you want? I got a bag. Who about to put that shit away? No. Hey, we finna jump this bag of chips, okay, put it up. We ain't gonna yeah. jump you, Truth. We gonna beat them yeah. chips' ass. <laughs> nah, come on. No funny shit. I'm a try. I'm a try. I'm, I'm, I'm a try. Let me get my op pack on. Hold on. Ooh, them bitches stink. On, on the open? Them bitches smell like ass feeding Cheetos. Come on, bro. No cops. You can't. You can't hide none of these. Dude. You can't hide none of these. These all. Like you just fucking garbage can. Cops can't get a garbage can game. Yeah. Ain't nobody eating this shit, bro. Ski. So shit like that. You know things like that. Oh, uh, uh, that's up there. Oh, uh, alright, look. So everybody not supporting the chips, huh? Man, sure. Look, this where this shit going, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Tell, tell truth. Nice try, wrong guy. <laughs> Most definitely. Tell my, tell my boy it was a nice try. It was the wrong guy, man. You uh -huh. know, you tried to promote your, your food and them shit. Tell food and that shit that work, man. Tell Pepsi that holler at me or something. You trying to promote Smurf on my motherfucking uh, private time. 
I wanted to just see you try and see your pen on it, but I got your pen now. You say I, I, I totally Deep get it. This bum though, my favorite. Uh, I totally get it. You know, I see you and King y'all on the internet. Is that made up? Is that made up, buddy? That's fun, ain't it? That's not real. It seems like y'all know each other and shit, buddy. Yeah. Your funny shit, man. When it comes to your man, ain't ain't no static with yellow boy on. He mad I did an interview with Queen D, right? But how you how, how my thing be right? Cause I just my last damn speaking on yellow boy. You feel me? It seems like he was upset about that. When it come to yellow boy gang and it, the Queen D situation gang, it took for. Me to do something with Queen D for you to try to show me your standing hand. Nigga, I been reached out to you. Nigga, you been knew the truth since Queen D left the station. Cause this was your lady, gang. Instead of you being a cause motherfuckers scream real nearly true. You know, we all it we are, everybody got a moment where they scream real nigga, gang. That one real nigga shit. I'm going to tell you real nigga shit. Five. When we talk about C5, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, son, dear. When we talk about five, this real nigga shit. Because now she five, lady. You see what I'm saying? Now she, now she my real brother, lady. You feel me? And my brother, he stood on business. Because he knew his lady was already involved in the shit. He said, damn. My lady telling me one thing while we laid up. But the internet portraying something else. And this is a motherfucker who won the case with me, gang. Right. So, Yellow, you my brother, right? You supposed to do this in 2016 when Lil J dropped that picture. You supposed to came right to, hey, look, man, my bitch said telling me something totally different from what I'm seeing. Motherfucker could have waited till the discovery dropped and all that. And then, really came forward like, damn, I've been told y'all I spoke up on my, on my shorty down my brother's name, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the guys didn't do that shit. But Duck. Duck put me in play, gang. Duck had me in the mix. When motherfuckers saw me when I was home, how did them people know I was home? Right. How people know I was home? Big three, right? Oh, bro. Big three let motherfuckers know I was back. What's left? Give me that last question on that, man. Yeah, last question I'm going to ask you, buddy, before we get up out of here. Give me that last question on that, true. Last question I was going to ask you about this whole rap shit. I want to get your opinion because I seen FYB J Man say something strong about you now, buddy. What'd he say? You know, he was kind of talking about you and Trigger and things like that. Did that throw you off guard? Because I didn't really see how that happened on the internet. Like, he kind of threw you off guard with that. Yeah, huh? you know, I, the only reason I lashed out, how I lashed out, because Instagram don't pay me. That's why I stopped doing a lot of shit with Instagram. Right. Instagram don't pay me no more. So I'm big on YouTube. I've been big on YouTube lately. Big on my YouTube press and all that, right? But I last started to say what I said on YouTube Live. I mean, on uh, Instagram Live with J-Man was because, nigga, brother, you got my number. You, you had my number since the day Trigger passed away. Right. Because I had to figure out what the fuck was going on with my little brother. With my shorty. How it was, what just happened? He over there at headquarters, the child headquarters. He ain't at our headquarters. So you had my number all the way since then. Even if you say, damn, bitch, I ain't saying your shit. You could have scrolled up to your mother, scrolled up in your DM. Let me see if this number work. He ain't try that number, gang. I still I understand his YouTube account. He had what he had going on. He was trying to rebuild his shit. And a lot of people do that off me. And that'd be, I, mm -hmm. I, I fall off that shit a lot. That I feed into Motherfuckers who trying to rebuild their brand and rebuild they 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 when it comes to this shit, and I don't do nothing but re, I don't do nothing but feedback and feed into it, get them get them more views, and you know what I'm saying. At the same time, at first I ain't gonna lie, was working for me. I argue with the dude that I I certain shit I don't even reply to. But when it comes to like my the niggas who merch on the same the people I merching you know, on the. It's a guarantee, more, one way or another, we gonna bump heads. I gotta say something. Right. Cause bitch, why you ain't call me? You calling the net, the net, the internet, I already think one thing about me, bro. Right. You my brother, fuck. At least that's how, that's how, that's how it's been. 
I'm took him when, when I was just knee deep in this shit for motherfuckers. Just caught this case and went did all this time. On oh, Shandia, I was the nigga who motherfuckers called on. My crib was the meet up spot on shit like that. So that's why I felt some type of way about J Man. Right. And you the same nigga. You tell you FYB CEO. How you FYB CEO complaining about what I'm doing with my dick? Nah, it's like a motherfucker on my dick. You watching my dick? No matter where my dick going, you watching it. Not, that's how I'm looking at it. You want to do You watching the penis, gang. I ain't monetizing who you fucking, brother. Right. And I damn sure ain't gonna, if I have an opinion on 